The overall goal of this procedure is to microdissect two spatially distinct regions of the colon, the proliferative crypt zone and the differentiated surface epithelial cells. This is accomplished by first removing the mouse colon. The second step is to freeze the tissue between two metal plates. Next, the tissue is mounted on a pre-leveled OCT block. The final step is to section the tissue on a cryostat at 10 micron intervals. Ultimately, real-time PCR or Western blot is used to show changes in gene and protein expression. The advantage of our technique is that it's fast, inexpensive, and high yield. Uh, demonstrating our procedure is uh, Christian Gerner schmidt a uh, technician in our group. All procedures using animals were reviewed and approved by the Emory University Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee and were performed according to National Institutes of Health criteria. After setting up the cryostat as usual, Equilibrate the cryostat, blades, and chucks to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Then, fill an empty cryo mold with optimal cutting temperature compound and equilibrate to minus 20 degrees Celsius. This will take approximately 30 minutes. Remove the frozen OCT from the mold and fix it to the chuck with liquid OCT. Place the chuck in the microtome arm and allow the OCT to set for 10 minutes. Set the cryostat to 10 microns per section and shave the OCT block until it is flat. Back the microtome arm away from the blade by several centimeters. Next, prepare two razor blades per sample. Using a metal file, dull the sharp edge of the blades. Then remove the aluminum flange with forceps.